Hello and welcome to tip number one of this 30 Photoshop tips course. In this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to apply Gaussian blurs to your layer mask. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. If you haven't already, do download the resources for this course. You can do that below uh, using the link below. And I'm just going to open up 01 building. I'm going to double click that. That's going to open up this lovely city image, lots of bright lights going on. So I'm just going to perform a couple of adjustments just to show you how to apply the Gaussian blur to your layer mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down to the adjustment layers and I'm going to add a levels. And I'm just going to make this much darker here. So I'm going to drag these across. Perfect. So that's looking good. Very, very dark. But what I actually want to do is I just want to darken the outside of the image. I want to keep the middle much brighter to create emphasis on this middle area. So I'm going to click on the layer mask and I'm just going to select the middle area here. I'm just going to move that up to the middle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill that with black. So as we can see there, it's going to fill that with black. So what we've got here though is a very harsh edge so you can see that this edge is too harsh we want this to be nicely blended in but we've just got a very sharp edge on our layer mask which you can see if i hold down alt and click that's a layer mask very sharp so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up to filter with my layer mask selected i'm going to come to filter and i'm going to come to blur and i'm going to come to gaussian blur now we can see here i'm going to drag this back down We've still got our harsh edge, but as I drag this up, it's going to blur the edge um, and create a nice sort of blend between the dark and the light. So let's drag this up quite a bit, 75, looking better. Now, however you want to do this, dependent on your image and the effect you want, the further you go, the bigger the blend. So let's take this up to 493. I'm just going to turn the preview off, let's drag this over, so the preview off and the preview back on so you can see there it's very very harsh there nice and smooth there using the Gaussian blur so I'm going to click OK and then turn that off that's before and that's after now what I'm going to do now is just perform the same technique again so you can see I'm just going to duplicate the background command or control J with the background layer selected I'm just going to come up to filter and I'm going to sharpen and unsharpen mask so you can see there just create this really extreme so let's drag this right up you can see that's much much brighter radius 4.2 or 5 um, if I turn that off that's before and that's after as you can see it's very very sharp so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and then I'm just gonna click on the layer mask icon to add the layer mask to our layer and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this middle area like so this time we want to hide it around the outside so I'm just going to come up to select and inverse so that now selects this outer area and I'm just going to fill that with black this time so alt backspace to select with to fill with foreground color so there we go we can see but again if I just deselect turn this off and on you can see there's a harsh edge along here where our layer mask again is super sharp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to um, filter and I'm going to come to blur and Gaussian blur again and the same principle I'm going to bring this down so that's as it is and then I'm going to bring this right up there we go I'm going to turn this preview off and I'm going to turn the preview on so this is off you can see the line around the edge and this is back on click OK and I'm just going to hold down Alt and click on the layer mask. You can see there a nice blend. And again on the levels layer, you can see there an even bigger blend. So there you go. That is how to apply Gaussian Birds to your layer mask to help blend layers together in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.